two steps ahead. Nick Avocado ate his boyfriend. That's the only way he could have lost all that fat. You might think I'm crazy, but I'm not. He said he's vegan to deceive us. Three years ago, Orlin went missing. And the avocado guy lost weight. He did the carnivore diet. He ate his boyfriend to lose fat. He ate the guy and didn't even leave his shoe. We got a cannibal among us. If we don't stop him, you could be next. But if you see this vegan avocado guy, just know he's out here eating people. Hey, let me out. Hey, let me out. Hey, can you stop moving? It's kind of small in here. Who are you? I'm Orlin. Orlin? Orlin? You have been missing for three years. It has been three years already? Huh. Time fly fast in here. How are you still alive? Well, I have been eating the food that has been coming down. Huh? That's how he lost the weight. You ate his food. I was right. Hey, let me out. Hey guys, welcome back into the boobs. You guys won't believe me. I just found Nick Avocado Avocado. And he looks like he took a shit for the first time in three years. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Why are you looking at me like that? Let me out. Hey, hey, let me out, Nick. What the fuck? Hey, you're Kim Star. Who are you? Wait, is that Orlin? Hey, Kim. Nick Akaro, what the fuck? Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. Ah. Okay, all jokes aside, congrats to Nick Avocado for losing weight. He said it was a social experiment. No, <coughs> it was not. He endangered his life for money and views. Was he two steps ahead? No, he was not. He was 250 pounds heavier. Is he a villain? No, he's a victim of money, views, and attention. And I do wish him the best and hopes he doesn't have problems cleaning his ass after taking a dump. I mean, that loose skin must be getting in the way.